Loop Calculator 3 has been redesigned to make calculating the electrical characteristics of an Apollo addressable loop easier than ever. This video will run through the process of using the tool so you can design with confidence. Before we begin, if you aren't sure what Loop Calc 3 is for, check out our other video first. The link is available in the description. To begin, you need to download the Loop Calc. Head over to apollo.co.uk and click on the Training and Support section, then on Loop Calculator. We want Loop Calculator 3. Click on that, then fill in the registration fields and submit. You should be presented with a download link. Download the zip archive to your Windows PC, right click and extract. In the extracted folder, double click install loopcalculator3.exe to run the installer. Follow the steps and open the application. Loop Calc 3 has limited multiple language support. If your Windows PC language is available, it will be the default when the application is opened. Languages can be manually selected under Options and Language Settings in the application. The application's user interface is broken up into four main panels. The product catalog is where you can find and select the control and indicating equipment, which we will refer to as a panel, as well as any Apollo addressable products you want to model. The loop summary is where the products you select will show. Different types and quantities of products will be summarized here and will be considered in your loop calculation. The properties pane shows you settings of any panel or product currently selected that will impact the calculation. Finally, the results pane summarizes the number of electrical properties and addresses used for the loop currently being viewed. To start your model, enter a project name then click Add Panel. This brings up the panel list, organized by manufacturer. Expand each manufacturer's list of panels by clicking the plus icon and click one of the options to select it. Click the OK button at the bottom of the window to add it to your design. Multiple panels can be added to the same design by repeating this process. Additional panels will show in a list at the top of the product catalog pane now that we have a panel, additional options are available in the user interface. Each of the loops available to the selected panel will show in the loop summary pane. By default, loop 1 will be selected. Before proceeding, it is recommended to click on the loop tabs shown to show their properties in the properties pane. This is where you select cable type, diameter, length and any default slash global settings for AV products that you can add later on. The product catalogue will now be available. This is used to find and select the Apollo addressable products you wish to add to each loop. You can expand the list of products by type, then family, or you can use the search field to search for a particular product description or part number. Once you find the product you wish to add, select it with your cursor and enter the number of them you wish to add using your keyboard or the arrow buttons. Doing this will add the product to the currently selected loop. To add products to a different loop, select the Loop tab in the Loop Summary pane, then add the product. If you have multiple panels in your model, you can select other panels at the top of the Product Catalog pane to switch between them. Doing so will show the loops for that panel in the Loop Summary pane. There may be products that you use frequently that you want to find quickly. To help with this, you can use the Favorites function. Find your frequently used product in the Products Catalog, then click the star icon. This will add it to the Favorites tab in the Product Catalog. Click on the Favorites tab to see all of the products you have added to it. By default, they will show in the order they were added, but you can rearrange the list by dragging each product into the order you prefer. This list will save automatically and will be associated with the local installation of Loop Calc on your machine, not with the project file. Selecting a product in the Loop Summary pane will show its settings in the Properties pane, if available. By default, the global properties that are associated with each loop will apply to each product. However, these can be overridden for each unique product type in the Loop Summary. Once you've added all panels, products and settings, the Results panel will show summary values and any faults or warnings for you to consider. Results are per loop. However, a summary of the entire project can be viewed by selecting the print icon at the top of the application. 
The document map shows the hierarchy of all panels and loops. These can be selected to jump to a particular section. Results here can be printed using the print services available to your Windows PC. Modern versions of Windows usually offer a PDF printer as an option, so you can save the report digitally. The loop calc project itself can also be saved to open later by using the save icon. Thanks for listening. We'd love to hear your feedback on Loop Calc 3. There's a link in the description to a feedback form.